So what is this? What is this mayhem you're watching unfold before you? This is my game. This is what I'm working on. Actually, it's not the full game. Um, I've titled it here, A Combat System Demonstration. There's no art here, right? You're not looking at anything pretty. You're just looking at the combat system and it's showing um, what my game's eventually gonna be, how it's gonna work, how it's gonna go in the world, how people are gonna attack each other. Um, so what is it? It's uh, based in Unreal Engine and I'm, it's multiplayer. So you're seeing the white uh, characters are actual people playing and the red characters are AI. Um, and it's a dedicated server game. So it's being hosted in AWS. Um, so at this time you're seeing about three actual players and seven AI. Um, so this is fully replicated. Like you can play this game. The old, really the only thing missing from this is the art. So that'll be the next step. We put all the art stuff in there, but everything else is there. There's an actual inventory system. Um, you know, you see him pull out the weapons and like, let's say he drops a weapon, um, the ammunition, that was in that weapon is is there on the ground in the in the weapon so the next guy who picks up that gun let's say you had three rounds left in the magazine well when you pick up that gun darn it it has three rounds left in the magazine and the rest of the ammunition that was on that guy's character is left there on the ground so i mean it's it's fully replicated and it's backed up with the save system as well so let's say you log off for the day or whatever or for the you get disrupted all your stuff is saved so uh, there's there's a back end to this as well. I'm showing you all the f cool combat stuff because honestly, I mean, who wants to look, make me or have you look through an inventory system? Kind of boring. But what I'm getting at is is it's it's the the full game, um, and the the login system is interesting too. And so there's username password just like anything else. Um, it creates file on the server with your login information, so it's protected. Um, but it also remembers something on your on the client computer as well. So let's say you do get disconnected, it will do an auto login system. And I didn't have to do any any outside of Unreal Engine to do this. I was able to just program this all within the engine. Um, so there's that. There's not some crazy finagling going on. The other interesting thing is this is a mostly blueprints. I love I love C++. It's great. Uh, I was just I was trying to knock this out as quick as possible. Uh, I wanted to go through the whole construct of making a game. I wanted to do the whole darn thing. Um, and so that's what I am in the process of doing. And really, like I said, the only thing I have to do is add art. So the characters, they're going to be replaced with actual characters. Um, the uh, the world itself, like I've said that a million times, there's going to be trees, foliage, there's going to be structures. This is BS structure stuff. It's not real. It, I mean, it's there, but it, it's just that with the texture on it. No big deal. Um, so we're actually going to have that. Um, so yeah, uh, just going to talk a little bit about this. So yep, there's a red guy. Um, that's AI. Uh, so we got our physics systems going on, uh, inventory being emptied. That's a player right there and he's being chased by AI. So the AI was programmed uh, is a little bit interesting because I didn't use as much of the behavior tree as I thought I would, which is the built-in Unreal AI system. I used a lot of just the player controller. Um, and once, because I've always been a multiplayer guy, the, the AI was like uh, was kind of an afterthought because I really wanted to focus on the player-to-player -player interaction because that to me is the most complicated thing I've ever had to do in my whole life was to get all of this stuff without latency you know, considering all these all these different things, um, getting it to work together. And believe it or not, that scope I keep showing you, that was a big pain. That was probably one of the hardest things. Believe it or not, you wouldn't think a stupid scope, uh, but getting everything to come in and out properly and, um, you know, just everybody to be seeing everything uh, right. So how I've been testing this is I have basically, I have my kids trying to break the game. I really do. I have them playing the game, trying to find all the little ways that it can be broken and inevitably they find ways uh, this last time we played, I think we got it down to maybe we're fighting one bug, which is pretty pretty good when you're considering all that's going on. Um, and it's still not a ga game stopper, and I got a way to get around that. So anyway, I just wanted to give uh, an update of where the game is at, and I will do more updates as things go along. Um, once uh, there's there's a lot of stuff I want to add here. I'm even thinking about maybe doing a first-person uh, VR setup. I don't know yet. 
but anyway, oh, and there's the, if you notice, they have who killed who. That's another part of the uh, replication system. Um, you kill an AI, uh, it doesn't tell you. The AI kills you, it does tell you. Um, but it will also show who killed what and with what weapon. So these weapons are being identified. And if you also notice, I haven't been doing it a whole lot right now, but he's actually able to identify uh, what ma physics material he's on. So if he's walking around, it's going to sound kind of like wood. I may have to update that stuff. Uh, but if he's walking on uh, stone or concrete, it'll be different. And I'm going to eventually do the same thing with the bodies, with the projectiles when they hit different things. So that's just things to come up. My main thing right now is to find or get an animator to really help me tweak some of these out. As you notice, the rocket launcher went back. It wasn't exact. The hands on the weapon, they're not exact, uh, but they're placeholders for right now. And these are all free assets. Eventually, we'll add in, uh, I'll, I'll have to either dump in a little money or, or figure something, some way out to get uh, maybe some nicer weaponry and stuff. Oh, he snuck up on me there and kicked me. And I went with the kick animation just because it was available. So there's lots of things to change, lots of things coming up. Uh, the only thing I didn't make, if you notice, you can see that red outline. That was by another Unreal guy. I'll leave his, uh, it was like the best, I found it for like a dollar. It was the best investment I ever made. And it gives the outline when the character dies. And then the death camera follows that. Um, but anyway, there's that. Uh, I, if you notice, I like to have a lot of fun with the physics. Each different weapon has different knockdown power. So if I shoot you with the pistol, it's not going to knock you down. If I shoot you with a grenade launcher, it's going to it's going to make you fly across the screen. So there, the, each thing is is trying to be um, set specific to what it is. And especially once, right when I get real weapons in there, you're really going to see different reactions. A variety of weapons. So there's one of each type at this time. There's, you know, you have a pistol, assault rifle, rocket launcher, grenade launcher. Eventually, I want to have multiple different rifles. Uh, you know, I'm kind of a gun guy, too, so I like that sort of stuff. Uh, wanna, and I want to make it accurate but fun. And, th and that's, the big, that's the big thing here, making things accurate, but at the same time, uh, to have playability with the physics, with uh, people being knocked down and exploding and doing all these crazy things. And that's, I wanted it to be exaggerated like that. I wanted parts and stuff flying all around. Um, it just it just makes it fun um, so that's what we got so far I'm gonna let this video play out a little bit longer uh, you know uh, next time I'll do maybe higher quality video because there's gonna be some scenery right now this is just generic I don't have 1080 like 30 FPS I mean nothing special the, the cool thing though with all of this stuff going on I think it was only utilizing 20% of the free AWS server, Amazon Web Service server, server that they give you. So it's really, I've really chopped out a lot of the, I guess you would call them memory leaks and things like that that could cause problems. It's really running smoothly considering how many AI are there, um, how many people are there, and it's only utilizing like 20%, which is pretty good. Um, you know, I try to sparingly use the tick, uh, but sometimes you have to. Oh, and there's just one thing I wanted to add. If you like what you're seeing here, um, I have a tutorial series that basically covers it. It's the foundation for all of this. And I really didn't change anything from that foundation. Not a whole lot. Tweaked a little things here or there that um, will show you how to get um, at least started on a project like this. Started with multiplayer replication in UE4, which is kind of what, what I specialize in. So if you want to know how to get started, you can check out the tutorial series. I'll put a link um, there. I do it just because I like, uh, you know, it can be difficult, and I like to give people a start at least. Um, and I'd like to resume those as soon as uh, this game is, is done, whenever that is. Anyway, so anyway, um, that's it for right now. Tell me what you think. Um, you know, maybe give me some pointers. And yeah.